A frequently asked question for people who go into the wine world, they say, what's it all about these barrels? What is, you have got Chardonnay wooded, you have them unwooded. And it really stems from wine over the centuries and thousands of years made, was made in barrels, because there was no stainless steel around. These days, so, it's only really reserved for those premium wines, like in Chardonnays, and in red wines in particular, making Cabernets, Merlots, Pinot Noirs. And it will, ever so change the wines and it's interesting a barrel has the the job you could say these days in a chardonnay where it concentrates the wine you have a loss um, of about a liter a month in a barrel it evaporates through the wooden staves and the, the color concentrates in the intensity of the flavor depends on this of course barrels is not a barrel is not a barrel they are barrels made from French oak and in France itself you have Limousin and you have got Burgundian and you have different oak coming from different forests and they all too have different flavors. So it becomes the winemaker's choice what kind of barrel he uses, what wood and how they're crafted to complement his wine style he wants to create. Oak is also grown in Italy and Germany and those barrels are around and in America you have uh, barrels and they all have a different complexity to wines which they make in the end. So a wine which is barrel aged, normally it is the more expensive wines as I said because it's very expensive. These barrels can cost up to $1500 a barrel so they only hold 225 liters so it makes it expensive business. So in our production here, we use barrels for the specialty Sauvignon Blancs and of course for our Chardonnays. And then in the red, we use them for our Merlot and our Pinot Noir. Sometimes I get asked, can you recognize a wine without reading its label? And yes, you can. And, but you have to learn about it, so you must know about wines for a start and these are in the trade or we call it option games and you can easy play them at home yourself just buy the wine remove uh, the cap and put it in a paper bag so what happens well how can you do that and the most the easiest question first is uh, if you have it in the glass is it a white wine or a red wine pretty obvious it's a white wine and then you have you swirl it you smell it and the aroma gives it away. So because you have wines like a Chardonnay has a different aroma smell to a Riesling or a Sauvignon Blanc. And that way you, it's a guessing game beginning, but later you will find you get more confident, more often you drink certain different wines, you recognize them, your brain recognizes, well, that must be a Sauvignon Blanc, or this is a Gewürztraminer or a Chardonnay. And it is fun. It's, uh, I do it at home. Uh, people come for dinner and I mask the wines which we're drinking. And it's, it's, it, it livens the atmosphere and it gives something to talk about. Often you can confuse people and it's, that's the trick once you do. When you, have, you, when you know somebody's there who really knows his wines and you buy a really, really odd bottle or odd grape variety and to trick him or you buy one which is an old vintage or things like that. So yes, it can be done. It takes time. You won't recognize certain grape varieties. Uh, they're, diff they're, sim they're similar, but some are very pungent, very obvious. So they're the ones you memorize first and then you build up your portfolio of knowledge.